Hello, my name is Anya, and today we are going to add checkbox functionality to our Bubble application. Think of this like you have a to-do list and you want to be able to check things off. Well, that's what we're going to cover in this video. Here I have a thing called task, and that task has completed as a yes or no field and description as a text field. Here in my database, I have some tasks that I added directly in here. Now I want to display all of these tasks in a repeating group. So I'm just going to make this type content task and its data source a search for all of the tasks in the database. I'm going to remove the fixed number of rows and set the min height to just be 50 because I don't need all that much space here. Then I'm going to display the crime cells tasks description and we can preview this. And that's what we see here. Now, Bubble does have a checkbox item, but it doesn't allow us to figure out if the checkbox is checked or unchecked. And personally, I just like the look of the icon much better because you can style it exactly how you want. So we are going to be using an icon. I'm going to make this this square by default. So that's what it will look like, like an unchecked box. And when the current cells tasks completed is yes, when the task is completed, then we want the icon to look like this checked thing. If we look in our database, we can see that make dinner, take the trash out, and start the dishwasher are all completed. So if we preview that, we see that reflected. Now let's add the logic so when I click this, it makes the task completed. We're going to do this by adding a workflow and making changes to the current cells task and setting completed equal to yes. Oops, completed equal to yes. Now we can preview this. And when I click make lunch, completed is equal to yes, and we see that change reflected. Now let's add the opposite. What if I accidentally checked make lunch when I really haven't done it yet? That means that we only want to set completed equal to yes when the current cells task is not already completed. Likewise, when the task is completed, then we want to set completed equal to no. We can preview this and test it out. So watch the dog is not currently completed. So completed is yes evaluates to false, while completed is no evaluates to true. So then it sets completed equal to yes, and we see that checked. We can also uncheck these and continue toggling between the two. I hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching. And for my bubble beginners out there, check out this completely free 0 to 1 bubble.io course at bit.ly slash 0 to 1 bubble or at the link in the description box below.